What's by this is Jaden. Welcome back to a new reaction video. And today we are reacting to Doctor Who Season 7, Episode 13, Nightmare in Silver. Um, let's see what it's going to be about. Last episode was the Crimson Horror, which also was the 100th episode of Modern Doctor Who. Um, they didn't really do anything too special like I thought they were going to do for it being their 100th episode. But I guess they don't really count it like that since Doctor Who's been going around since like the 60s. So anyway, let's go ahead. Watch Nightmare in Silver. Uh, last episode, Clara learned that there was a picture of her in Victorian London, but she never went to London. She went to England or uh, Yorkshire. So anyway, let's go ahead. See what's going to happen in Nightmare in Silver. And yeah, full reactions on Patreon. Second to the last episode, technically, and then we'll get to the specials and all that. Wait. Okay. Oh, okay, so we got the kids. Amusement park there will ever be. What? And we've got a golden ticket. Hey, hey, fun. Is that not the moon? Fun? The stupid box can't even get us to the right place. Oh. This is like a moon base or something. It I is the moon. Say, guys, it's not the moon. Oh. Okay? It's the Spacey Zuma ride, or it was. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Uh, I don't suppose you happen to be my lift off planet, Dave's discount interstellar removals? Right not. Is this like a real no, amusement to be park? Here six months ago. Well, that's Dave for you, see? Unreliable. <laughs> No weapons. Golden ticket. Spacey Zuma. What? Free ice cream. Who are you? This planet is closed by Imperial order. How's this? Hmm. Welcome, Proconsul. Wish they told us you were coming. Come along. Follow me. This way. This way in. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I don't like these kids Welcome already. Webley's World of Wonders. Anybody here play chess? Uh, perhaps you, a young man. Actually, I'm in my school chess club. Uh, follow me. <laughs> wow. The enemy. Cyberman, get what? down. Really? Hmm. I feel like um. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. I mean, it's kind of. It's different that I started out right with the doctor. Is this? It seems different. This intro seems like they added more visuals. Da -da, da -da. Neil Neil Demon or Guyman, how do you say his name? Neil wrote this episode. No need to panic, my young friends. It is free of all devices, and yet it has never been beaten. Would you like to make the first move, young man? Well, let's see. Hey, low tech. It's a puppet monofilament strings, which means brains. Are in. Uh, Hello. Is that the king? Emperor. Ludens, Nimrod, Kendrick, etc., etc., the 41st. Defender of humanity. Imperator of known space. He looks a bit full of himself. Don't say things like that about the Imperial family. You can end up on the run for the rest of your life. Space is your life. Uh -oh. Look at me. I can't tell if this is actually on the moon or not. Having a good time? <laughs> now, I'm not just saying don't wander off. I mean it. Otherwise, you'll wander off, and the next thing you know, somebody's gonna have to start rescuing somebody. Total takings for the day. One sandwich. Better than no sandwich, of course. Not as good as two sandwiches. Or even That's weird. Oh, that's a bit odd. There's no one can. There's, oh! Oh, those are those little cyber things, aren't they? Those are also cyber creatures. Oh no, I like this guy! Hedgewick bought the planet Chief. It had been trashed in the cyber wars. Who were we fighting? Oh. Cybermen. Technologically upgraded warriors. We couldn't win. Sometimes we fought to a draw, but then they'd upgrade themselves, fix the weaknesses, and destroy us. I feel like a monster sometimes. Why? Because instead of mourning a billion trillion dead people, I just feel sorry for the poor blight that had to press the button and blow it all up. Clara! Did you tell Andrew she could Did he blow it up? You know I didn't. I'm bored. Where's your big sister? Clara. Not big sister. She's not my sister. She's stupid. She's talking to Porridge. She talks about Porridge. Porridge? That little bloke? Oh. She always has to turn up and spoil everything. Oh, come I wasn't on. Doing anything. Why can't you just leave me alone? Why did you want to go on this adventure in the first place? I don't like it. They're not writing these, these kids right. 
Upgrade in progress. Oh, look at that! It's like it has super speed. Oh, that, that's... Hey, they, they did super speed very well on this show. Oh. Party, what's happening? And look, he's half a cy he's half cyber face. Please stand by. You will be upgraded. She's your commanding officer now. Porridge. Yes. Sir. Oh. Hey, that really shouldn't have worked. Doctor, <laughs> help her. And she hail to you, the doctor. Savior of the Cybern. Oh no. What would the Empire do if they were alerted? I told you. Told me to blow up the planet. After they got us off. We needed children to build a new cyber planner. A child's brain with its infinite potential is perfect for our needs. But we no longer need the children. The Cybermites have been scanning your brain, Doctor. Oh! Oh, come on. Oh, there's no... Oh. Get out of my head! Stop rummaging in my mind! Just you try and stop huh? me. Fascinating, a complete mental block, highly effective. Cyber Planner! What oh. a great name that is it. I could call myself the... Mr. Clever. So what? much raw data. Oh! <laughs> Five, six, seven, nine, Five. ten. Eleven. Generate now. I don't know if eight was there. Generation energy burn out any little. No, 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 no. It's like two face. I heard you. Rhetorical device to keep me thinking about it a bit more. Stalemate. We each control forty-nine point eight eight one percent of the brain. Cool point two three eight of the brain is still in the balance. How would you? You just gave up your position and then decided to hide. It knows. I forgot I could do that. What was this for? Just a mad guess here. It blows up the planet. Implodes it. There's also a trigger unit. Implodes. I'll have that then. Is there any other way to activate the bomb? It's set to respond that to That guy up there seems very familiar. I have the verbal code. You will not activate it without a direct order from me. Let's just start it. Doctor! Why is there no record of you anywhere in the data banks oh. of the Siberia? Ah. You're good. You're still running some of that code. Really? That's your secret weapon? Cleaning fluid? I was in the Imperial Guard on Caspity. Mostly just parades, but I had the honor to guard the old Emperor during the ice picnic. When the snow there. Uh oh, someone's monsters. watching you. That was a day. And you can't destroy it immediately. You implode the planet. Implode or I explode? I was here because I didn't follow orders. I can make up for that. Yeah, but you're still not following orders. Sit down, I forbid you. Yeah. What she said. For the Empire. This is Captain. Empire Elias Strikes Ferris. Back. Imperial ID one nine eight. Cyberman, get down! Oh. Ah, you shot her. Oh. Oh. Wait. Oh yeah. Okay. I thought the guy shot her, but I guess not. Yeah, but the fact that I can do that and kind of trick you—that's so. Wow, wild. I'm not afraid of you! Well, that's good. No! Whoa! <laughs> One more step and I fire! No, don't fire that! Her pulse will deactivate them. Ah, don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm nice! Please, don't shoot! Hey, Clara, you haven't let them blow up the planet. Good job. <laughs> Did you get the kids? Are they all right? I love how I love how you automatically knew that they were going to blow the So good news, I kidnapped the cyber planner, and right now I'm sort of in control of this cyber man. Bad news. <laughs> bad news. The cyber planner's in my head, and different bad news. The kids are well. It's complicated. Other good news. Well, in other good news, there are a few more repaired and reactivated cybermen on the way, and the cyber planner's installing a patch for the gold thing. He has no better than a 25% chance of winning at this stage in the game. Some very dodgy moves at the beginning. Hello, flesh girl. Fantastic. I'm the cyber planner. 
Doctor. Afraid not. I'm working the mouth now. Allons-y. Oh, you should see the state of these neurons. He's had some cowboys in here. Ten complete rejigs. You aren't the Doctor. No. Ow! Ow! Oh, that hurt. No, stop! Enough! Bit of pain. Nor surge. Just what I needed. Cyber planner. Mr. Clever. Now, oh, wow. if you don't mind, I have a chess game to finish. And you have to die pointlessly. <laughs> Oh, okay, so now they're gonna be trapped and all right. I, see. Wakey, wakey, I like the visuals a lot. Girls. Like it's like electricity behind them. Uh, we have the actual doctor. It's like yellow stuff. So where are they all hidden? Not you right now, or even if you are, just in case. <laughs> Don't worry. The cyber plan is hibernating between moves right now. <sighs> Prove you're you. Tell me something only the doctor knows. Clara. I suppose. I'm the only one who knows how I feel about you right now. What? How funny you are. So funny. Nah, he's tricking. Pretty. He's tricking you. Truth is, I'm starting to like you in a way that is more than just. Oh. Ow! 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 Yes! Ah, it's me! That really hurt. How did you know that was him? Because even if that was true, which it is obviously not, I know you well enough to know that you would rather die than say it. Finish your stupid game! Oh! End game. Destroy this planet when you have a chance. <gasps> yeah, nearly here. Now, you can take my bishop and keep limping on. For Can't you see what a foolish move that was? You've lost the game! Kids, back now! Oh, well, there we go. Now presenting delights, delicacies, and death. Oh no! Doctor! Oh, there we go! Oh no! In three moves. How? I've got no charge left. How? Oh no. Siberia. Siberia is a country, isn't it? Resources. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, they're tricking. There's no way. Oh, he's gonna do it to himself. See ya. Not cheating! Just taking Look at advantage his of the local resources. The throne. It's all connected. I just have to say, this is Emperor Ludens Nimrod Kedrick called Longstaff the 41st. Defender of humanity. Imperator of known space. Activate the desolator. And it's done. He just did that. Oh, this is a good world as well. I could... What? Oh. Nice ship. Oh, okay. Not blue enough. Listen. Not blue enough. There's a large blue box, a coordinate six, ultra nineteen p. I need it transmitted up here right away. Good not to be lonely, or emperor of a thousand galaxies, with everyone waiting for me to tell them what to do. <laughs> Can't you run away again? I'll be keeping a close army this time. I've never met anyone like you before. I could tell she would be like. And being it. emperor won't be as hard if you're by my side. And you'd rule a thousand galaxies. This sounds like an actual marriage proposal. Porridge. I don't want to rule a thousand galaxies. How can you say no to that? When someone asks you if you want to be queen of the universe, you say yes. You watch one day, 
I'll be queen of the universe. I could have you all executed, which is what a proper emperor would do. Huh? You're not actually going to do that, though, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're... Hey. Go on. Get out of here. All of you. I like porridge. Mine. In a, don't know, emperor, defender, whatever. But... Wednesday, last Wednesday. One of the Wednesdays. Do they used to, like... That'd be pretty funny if they used to, like... Impossible girl. Every Wednesday they used to... Mystery wrapped air? in an enigma squeezed into a skirt that's just a little bit too short tight. What? <laughs> you ever wanted to be Emperor Gloria? No, Majesty. That's the right answer. Come on. Let's go home. What is this? Oh, okay. That's the shows that there will be Cybermen coming again. Oops. Next episode, uh, is considered the the final episode, episode fourteen. The name, the name of the Doctor. I'm so excited. I'm watching that today. I'm watching that right now. I'm gonna take a little break, but I'm gonna watch that right now. Um, the name of the Doctor. I'm so excited for that. It's, it's like the final episode, of the se season, and then we we get the fiftieth anniversary episode, which is kind of funny because um, around Christmas time it was like the sixtieth anniversary, I think, um. Actually, well, let me see when the 60th. When was the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who? On the 9th of December. Well, it began 25th November and concluded on the 29th of December. Um, so, anyway, I'm excited to see the 50th anniversary. I'm excited to see the, the last episode as well. But I'm excited to see the 50th anniversary and then the last special the time of the doctor we're going to see what happens in the time of the doctor as well we got three more episodes until we got three more episodes with matt smith man anyway i might see episode 15 today actually i mean it's pretty early so i might watch it later today who knows um but um I will also be watching an adventure in time and space or whatever it's called after the 50th anniversary. So we got that to look forward to. And then, um, yeah, but the name of the doctor, I'm excited for that episode. This episode was actually, I actually really enjoyed this episode. The pacing was really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I actually really enjoyed this. It's like after the ninth, after the cold war episode, it started getting better and better and better. So yeah, this episode was really good. Uh, nightmare and silver. Nightmare and Silver makes sense. So, uh, and I actually did like the ending as well. The last couple of episodes have had weird endings. This episode actually had a good ending. It kind of uh, showed us that Cybermen are coming back. There's a parasite left or whatever you call that thing. A, a cyber, cyber bug or whatever. I forget what it's called. But yeah. Um, yeah, so Nightmare and Silver was really good. Um, but I'm going to end it here. I'm excited to watch The Name of the Doctor. Um, which I'll be watching today as well. But yeah, I feel like season seven has been like the the fastest season that I've seen. Um, the fastest time I've I've watched it. Who knows? But anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. I want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.